Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.co, gamblersadvisory.com. Let's talk about cryptocurrency. Let's talk about a hedge you need to have. I believe it's a must hedge for those interested in wealth preservation. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now understand, I believe that Bitcoin really is going to be the major player in our financial futures, right? I can't believe how undervalued Bitcoin is right now. I think there's going to be a slow rolling realization that this is one of the great innovations of our time, right? I believe for crypto investors, at least half of your crypto investment should be in Bitcoin, right? I don't believe anything else comes close. I'm a believer in Dash, but it's Bitcoin right now that people understand as a store of value. It's Bitcoin right now that has Fortune 500 companies like MicroStrategy using some of their cash reserves to invest in Bitcoin, right? I think it's going to take a few more years to educate directors on these corporate boards about altcoins and what they bring to the table. I also think, too, that Bitcoin, as a store of value, is akin to gold, right? In many ways, it's superior to gold. People conceptually can understand that. Right? You don't get into conversations about other features of the coin or recent upgrades and software developments. So Bitcoin, to me, is a must-have. There are many people, the Winklevoss twins, for example, who expect Bitcoin to replace gold. Right? Gold right now has a $9 trillion market. People are doing the math. They realize that means that Bitcoin would have to go up several times in value to supplant gold. Right? And for people involved in wealth preservation, right? keeping the money you have, not so much a focus on making money, but keeping what you have, you understand the importance of having a reliable store of value, right? Something that over the centuries will continue to be able to buy roughly the same amount of goods and services as it did centuries ago. Well, let me just say, even though I am extremely bullish on Bitcoin, right? Extremely. Let me underline that word. And I've been here online talking about other cryptocurrencies over the years, right? But I'm extremely bullish on Bitcoin. Nothing else comes close. Let me just say that, and while I believe Bitcoin is going to go up faster than anything else in the space, anything else in crypto, Right? While I believe Bitcoin is going to go up faster than gold, right? just understand that, in my opinion, I'll just tell you what I'm doing. While I have some Bitcoin and I'm adding to that, I'm also adding to the gold I have. Understand, gold will always have a very important role. Let me repeat that. Gold will always have a very important role. If you listen to the Winklevoss twins, you would assume that Bitcoin is going to blow gold out of the water and then gold's going to drop in value and fall off by the side of the road, right? Be more about jewelry than anything else. The truth to me is very different than that. Because understand, 
There's an elephant in the room. It's in the room now. Not a lot of people are talking about it. And that's quantum computing. Now, China recently had a breakthrough, at least according to their official release. They had a breakthrough in quantum computing that now gives them quantum computing supremacy. Right? Well, I want people to understand, especially millennials who might not realize the value of gold, that barbarous relic. Right? I want people to understand that as great, and it is magnificent, as the hash rate for Bitcoin is, as hard as it is to break Bitcoin, just understand com quantum computing poses a threat. Every breakthrough in quantum computing increases the risk. Right? If a quantum computer can get through the encryption of a cryptocurrency, and there are many on the market, folks, who don't have anything close to the hash rate of Bitcoin, then that cryptocurrency is done. Understand, there's several legendary investors. I'll name one, Jim Rogers. They understand the threat that Bitcoin poses to, we'll call it, the legacy finance central bank system. Right? Understand, Bitcoin is going to obviate a lot of central banks. So there's going to be blowback from the empire. Right? The empire to quote Star Wars, is going to strike back. They're going to do things to slow down Bitcoin because understand, Bitcoin takes monetary policy making away from central bankers. Right? When you're dealing in peer-to-peer -peer finance, the idea of some central banker trying to set an interest rate is preposterous. They're outside the transaction. They can't impact the transaction the way they can in a world of fiat currency. So, with countries like China having breakthroughs in quantum computing, you have to address that risk to your cryptocurrency, including your Bitcoin holdings in your portfolio. Now, say what you want about gold, but gold is offline. Gold is not vulnerable to quantum computing. Right? Worst case scenario, you wake up one morning and you find out that some quantum computing system somewhere that's well financed, that has Google behind it, or a sovereign nation, China behind it. Right, has just deconstructed and cracked a Bitcoin. Right, folks, overnight, the value of Bitcoin is going to drop precipitously. Right, you have to be aware of that risk. Dare I say, you need to hedge that risk by picking up some gold or at least having control over some gold. We'll make the distinction. Let me also say too, that if you're using cryptocurrency as a means of exchange in your efforts to barter for goods and services from merchants, right, then let's be clear, you also need silver. You need silver coins not bars of silver, right? If I'm at the grocery store and I'm selling eggs and stuff like that, and someone walks in with a huge bar of silver, sorry, that's too clunky. That's too much of a problem. Right? You want silver coins. 
The best way to own precious metals is to have the precious metals in a form where you could actually use the precious metals if push comes to shove to buy goods and services, right? The problem with the gold coin, quite frankly, is if I have a one ounce coin, then I have $1,800. That's too complicated to use at a Starbucks to get a cup of coffee. Right? That's too much change to be dealing with. Understand you're in precious metals to get out of fiat currency. The last thing you want is to use a gold coin at a Starbucks. Let's say the currency is dead all over the place and merchants go back to sound money and start accepting precious metals. Right? The last thing you want is to use a gold coin at a Starbucks and then to get roughly $1,800 worth of fiat currency back that's depreciating as you walk out the door of the Starbucks. What you want is a silver coin, right? That's worth maybe $24 or something like that right now that you can use as a means of exchange in everyday transactions, right? You go to the gas station, you fill up, you give them one silver coin. And so my point is simply this. Look, I believe Bitcoin is going to appreciate in value faster than gold and silver. I do. But I believe you need to own gold, especially and silver as part of your portfolio. If prices are messed up short term and people are abandoning gold and silver and you're able to pick it up dirt cheap because Bitcoin's taken off, maybe Ethereum's taken off. My point to you is even as you see Bitcoin and Ethereum taking off 2x, 4x, 6x, going exponential. I believe the prudent investor, no matter how disfavored, and I'm serious about this, no matter how disfavored goal is, because understand, what you're really doing is purchasing the scarcity. No matter how disfavored goal is, no matter how ridiculous the press is, and understand, the press is usually behind innovation. They're late to the party, continually, right? No matter how many stories are in the press from well-meaning people like the Winklevoss twins saying gold is done, Bitcoin has replaced gold. In my opinion, you need to pick up some gold and silver to offset the risk of quantum computing, right? Understand, what you're trying to do is to preserve wealth. If quantum computing succeeds in breaking the encryption of Bitcoin, you need to have a portion of your wealth that's sound money, that's not at risk, of quantum computing breakthroughs. Today, today, that's gold and silver. I got news for you folks. Tomorrow, it's gonna be gold and silver. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, it's gonna be gold and silver, right? I'm not saying to avoid Bitcoin, not at all. I embrace Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin's the future. But if you want to preserve your wealth, you need to have some gold and some silver. Let's talk about power over gold now. Let's say that you know American history and you're concerned that the government is going to take your gold. They're going to do something stupid like take your gold tell you that the value of gold is something like $35 an ounce. Welcome to what happened in the 1930s. 
Then they're going to force you to turn in your gold for $35 an ounce, as it was then. Now it would be maybe $1,500 an ounce, right? They, they'll they cut the price. They'll get a discount price. And then, of course, they'll tell you, hey, you can't physically own gold for decades, which is what they did here in the United States. While, of course, they take your gold, build up their gold reserves, reprice gold, balance their books, right? If you're afraid of that happening and you have some crypto right now, what I want people to do is to realize that there are insured, audited businesses like Voltero, Volturo.com. Let me spell that out. V-A-U-L-T-O-R-O.com. Again, V-A-U-L-T-O-R-O.com. Where you can actually exchange Bitcoin for gold that's held in Switzerland. That's audited. That's insured. That if you demand your gold, they'll send it to you. Right? If you have Dash, you can also exchange Dash for gold at Volturo.com and have a gold holding outside of the United States. Now, let me just say, bluntly, this isn't as preferable as having the gold yourself. In other words, it requires a lot of trust that you don't have to have if you have your gold. If you bought gold coins off of sdbullion.com, for example, and they sent you gold, well, guess what? You have the gold. I'll agree, this requires trust. But I need for people to understand that if your concern is that the local government is going to confiscate your gold, or is going to turn you into a criminal if you don't disclose your gold holdings. Right? If that's your concern, then understand, companies like Volturo.com are an option. Right? So, think this through. I'm all for the Bitcoin community being excited about Bitcoin. I'm excited about Bitcoin. But just understand, any time you're dealing with a digital asset, encryption becomes an issue. And in this world of fast-moving technology, where the speed of quantum computers has now led to an international race to outdo prior computers, and that race, of course, involving some of the most tech-savvy companies on the planet, Google, for example, and some of the most tech-savvy countries on the planet, China. In that kind of race, where you understand that a quantum computer might be able today to get through the encryption of many cryptocurrencies, understand these cryptocurrencies can't survive 51% attacks. Right? Are you completely certain that that brand new cryptocurrency in spaces like the DeFi space, where there are loans, one person's asset is another person's liability, are you certain that quantum computing has no chance of disrupting, deconstructing, getting past the encryption of a cryptocurrency? If you, like me, want to preserve wealth, whatever wealth you have, if you want to preserve wealth and you want to make sure that if doomsday strikes, if you wake up and you see that Bitcoin is way down, then you find out that some quantum computer someplace has broken through the Bitcoin code, can actually play games with the Bitcoin blockchain. On that day, you feel grateful if you've quietly been accumulating 
gold and silver and can use that to pay your mortgage, pay your rent, pay for food, pay for medical care, pay for emergency expenses. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I expect Bitcoin to outperform gold. But understand, when you're interested in wealth preservation, you need a portion of your wealth that you can rely on. Right? To paraphrase Nassim Taleb, Bitcoin, as magnificent as it is, isn't as robust, isn't as anti-fragile as gold is. If you're buying Bitcoin, have at least a little bit of a hedge. Pick up some gold, pick up some silver. Right? As the press goes crazy over what's new, remember what has been reliable for centuries. Pick up some gold and silver as part of your investment portfolio. That's what I'm doing. In fact, let me just offer a disclaimer. You do what you want to do. You do what's best for you. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Right? Gold and silver is certainly part of that. Let me hear from you in the comment section of this video. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.